Hi. Um, so everyone, whenever you turn on TV, you pick up a newspaper, you hear about politics, you hear about um, Democrats versus Republicans, you hear about um, Republican bigotry and Democratic liberal agendas and stuff. And a lot of times we just like to turn it off and, and just ignore that kind of thing. But the thing um, to take notice of is um, those are the kind of things that affect us and shape our future. And um, distorted politics and um, things like that are um, becoming more apparent in today's uh, democratic society. Um, my major claim is that uh, the Republican and Democratic dominated party is ru ruining American uh, democracy. Uh, my claims for that are that the two party system is creating bipartisanship and is stifling attempts at reformation of the general public once and is tipping um, those scales in favor of special interest group as well as um, the fact that um, the two party system is rigging elections in favor of those two um, majority parties, making it um, nearly impossible for um, smaller parties and independent groups to um, be elected in important elections, as well as the fact that the two party system is um, undermining overall diversity in um, politics in general. Um, in regard to uh, um, uh, making policies for the general public, um, most co uh, the most recent example is of this is the health care bill. Um, a 2010 Gallup poll on January 8th surveyed a group of adults asking the question, what would you advise your members of Congress to do, to vote for or against um, the health care bill this year? 37% answered for, 41 voted against, while the remaining two um, were undecided. Um, with such um, inconclusive results, it wouldn't um, be enough for <coughs> but, um, enough for policymakers to want to push and create such a um, massive and effective um, bill that would um, affect the daily lives of so many people. Uh, I mean, instead, it suggests it suggests um, a political loyalty to their affiliation as opposed to the constitu constituents that um, that they represent. Um, we live in a, a representative de democracy because just everyone being able to say their opinion at a at a debate or whatever would just be too ridiculous. So the point of that is that those representatives would represent those who um, who that who voted them in the first place. However, in this situation, as others, it seems that um, politicians would rather vote um, in regard to uh, whatever political affiliation they have. Um, not only this, but it leaves um, open room for lobbyists to um, to affect politics as opposed to um, their own um, um, well, what they should be doing. Uh, Bob Herbert, a, col a columnist from the New York Times, wrote um, on October 6th that both parties have, with great enthusiasm, turned more and more of the government over to corporate and banking interests. And according to the Senate Office of Public Records, lobbyists from the top five lobbying industries from just the past two and a half years have spent a combined total of around um, $2,217,396,856 on lobbying. And just that's just from the last two and a half years. Um, some of these industries include the pharmaceutical health product industry, electric utilities, insurance, oil and gas, and business association industries. And just the fact that so much money is going into lobbying shows that they have um, impact and policies that are being made um, and laws that um, affect us and how um, those industries are getting their way because um, they're financially benefiting um, whatever group that is. Um, also, multi -party system, or the two-party system has made it more difficult for smaller parties to um, get into office. Um, the most common example that I'm sure most of you have heard of is Rolf Nader and how he's ran for office um, six times um, in 1972, 1990, 1992, 1996, 2000, 2004, 2008, and didn't come close each time. And um, although it's kind of funny to just poke fun at Rolf Nader, it also points to more disturbing fact that um, someone who's trying and has tried multiple times with repeating uh, failure um, demonstrates the fact that um, smaller parties have immense difficulty overcoming um, the power and the hold that the two parties that, um, that exist currently um, now have. Um, aside from this, just overall um, diversity in politics also exists. Um, when you hear about policies and you um, uh, and see them on the news, it's not 
um, a matter of policy oftentimes as much as it is um, party versus party, the Republicans versus the Democrats, red states versus blue states. Um, this is causing um, a block mentality and um, just voting based off of um, political affiliation as opposed to necessarily um, going with politicians that share um, closer views with you because um, voters who want to vote for a smaller party feel compelled to vote for a Republican or Democrat because their vote is almost deemed worthless because um, a vote to a minority party would surely um, would go to a politician that wouldn't um, most likely be, uh, be elected. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys register as independents and stuff like that. That's it. <laughs>